um, in Our Lady of Peace we've had a targeted nurturing um, group in our school for a number of years um, at part time and it would take place at the beginning and the end of the week but we, after some time we realised you know, that we, we more and more children really needed support and would benefit from nurture um, and we agreed that we needed to develop a whole school nurturing approach. Um, it was that time that we actually became, we were given the opportunity mm -hmm. to become a Renfisher's part, part Nurture Pathfinder School um, and so we quickly took took up that opportunity um, and as a result we benefited really from um, the support from Educational Psychology Service um, to um, and training with, with themselves and with um, Education Scotland. So all of our staff have been trained in the, in the principles of nurture and attachment theory um, and more recently around adverse childhood experiences. After the initial training with uh, the psychologists um, we agreed to take on one nurture principle for the year um, which was very good because I think if we'd been left to do it to ourselves we would have tried to do all of the nurture principles at once. Um, so we agreed that our first uh, nurture principle that we would do was uh, language is a vital means of communication um, and then the next and the reason we chose that one for was because the child we found the children found it difficult to express their emotions. Um, they would have a limited vocabulary, they might say they had a bad day or they were sad or they were happy but that was maybe the extent of it. The other reason a lot of our children couldn't uh, distinguish between a big deal and a little deal and sometimes it'd be quite highly emotional outbursts as a result of it. So um, by focusing on language as a vital means of communication we felt that we, we would target that. Following the, the setup of the core group, Educational Psychology Service supported us further through using the coach consult model. So by doing that, they would come in and help us support, take forward any of the actions that we decided to take part as part of the action plan. And as our core group, our skills um, got better and we became more expert and we were able to support other people within the school. Um, raising attainment and literacy and numeracy is obviously a priority for all schools but if children are not emotionally secure um, they're not in a place to sit in a classroom and learn so I think that um, by being part of the nurturing relationships approach um, our we've created a community that understands the children's behaviour and uh, treats every child as an individual because um, it's not one size fits all so we find strategies that suit individual children so that we can reduce barriers to their learning and obviously then increase attainment.